Every bot in perfection. It's the meat event, Meat Boy, and UFC 290 is capped off with a featherweight championship contest between OGM, Alexander Volkanovsky, taking on the painter, Yair Rodriguez, and I personally cannot wait for this fight because Yair is a guy who, I mean, Yair is a singularity of focus. That dude is absolutely determined to become the champ, and technically he was able to do so just this past February when... He was able to stop Josh Emmett and pick up the interim championship. And while, yes, it does have that interim tag, I mean, that was super impressive for Yair because we just saw Toporia. I mean, even though Toporia absolutely dominated Josh Emmett, that fight went 25 minutes and Ilya was even even able to, uh, was not able to finish Josh Emmett, whereas the pa uh, Pantera was. So impressive stuff for me. And it wasn't too surprising. I mean, he picked up that finish over Brian Ortega. And while, yes, that was somewhat controversial, the guy is a proven finisher. I mean, just that up elbow, YOLO last second, literal last second against the zombie. El Pantera is absolutely insane in there and brings just a very unique and wild skill set. He can strike with the best. He's got gnarly submissions from his back like he showcased against Josh Emmett. He's just super well-rounded, and I'm excited for him to see if he is well-rounded enough to beat a guy like OGM, who is on kind of another level similarly. I mean... Although he's coming in off a technical loss on the record against Islam, I think a lot of people, I struggle to say most people thought that uh, he did enough to win that fight, but he definitely seemed to, even though he lost the contest, seemed to emerge as the victor, if that makes any sense, because the fan support was obviously there. A lot, like I said, a lot of people thought he got that one done, and I'm curious to see what Volkanovski looks like in a rebound fight, because we've only ever seen him dominate in the UFC. He never even sniffed defeat, so this is a rare instance where Volkanovski, technically on paper, is entering this competition off of a recent loss. So, Do you think that he's going to be just full psycho, absolutely determined to run through Yair and sort of make it look easy, similar to how Frankie Edgar did so a long time ago against Yair, or do you see the flip side where perhaps he uh, is going to lose a step, he's fighting against a dangerous, wild guy like Yair, and uh, maybe keeps the L streak going? Who are you going with in this meet event? Yeah, this is such a crazy fight. I'm so excited. And Yair is going to come out absolute spark plugging right out of the gates i mean look at that you know josh emmett fight just tagging him up bam 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 just so crazy and fast alexander volkanovsky i think it's going to be able to keep up with that speed because i think volk is just as fast and harder to hit so the question is is can the Ayer even hit him and how successful can he be when he's hitting him um, will not surprise me if Yair drops him or knocks out Volk or something and wins, um, you know, via TKO or something, but I don't know. I think Volk's just built different. And even though he is five, two fighting a, basically a six foot, you know, savage Mexican young fighter. I don't, I think his I skill and IQ in fighting is going to overtake those you know those body advantages of you know him being so long and strong um i think volk is going to do a very beautiful display of mixed martial arts the takedowns the clinch work the grappling the striking the, the kickboxing everything while yair is going to be peppering kicks and hopefully he gets a zombie wild flashy knockout which definitely could happen this is a fight anything can happen i think volk's gonna win in a dominant fashion, but will not surprise me if Yair can pull off some spinny ninja stuff like he always does and maybe pulls off a big upset. Yeah, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. I'm seeing it the exact same way. I mean, you mentioned Volkanovski being just a true mixed martial artist. Like, I, of all the guys in the UFC, like, you're going to pick one guy who just truthfully exemplifies the sport and the well-roundedness of it, you got to pick Volkanovski because the guy can literally do it all. It's He kind of reminds me of Whitaker in a sense where there's just like, there's no discernible weaknesses and he's elite in every area of the game, which is just crazy, especially knowing that Volkanovski, I mean, he's got the rugby background. He, he comes from a sort of non-traditional uh, MMA path when compared to a lot of his uh, counterparts. So very impressive how, uh, just how impressive Volkanovski is been able to create uh, of a career for himself and 
And this one, if we look at topology, right, 87% is rolling with Volkanovsky. So they think that he returns angry, focused, and it's just a bad idea for Yair to step in there with him. But majority is based for the decision. And of the 13% rolling with El Pantera, it's basically all brown. So do you kind of agree with that? Do you envision Volkanovsky, if he gets this one done, grinding out a dominant decision? And on the flip side, is Yair's only opportunity to win by KO? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's no way Yair wins unless it's a finish. Maybe he gets a crazy submission. I doubt it because T City couldn't T City couldn't pull it off. I don't think Yair will. Um, but I think the only way he wins is by KO TKO. Um, I think Volk is just way too good, and Yair, I just his there's no way his gas tank is gonna be better than Volk. And Volk, as we saw Volk versus Islam, he does not stop with the pressure. So the pressure is gonna be brought. Yair is gonna last a round of three rounds. If a finish happens for Volk, I'm assuming it'll be the third, fourth, or fifth round. If a finish happens for Yair, it's gonna be within the first three rounds. So it's gonna be one crazy fight. I'm super excited to see. Yeah, I buy that all the way, and it just blows my mind watching Volkanovski, especially against Islam, because it seemed like the later that fight went, the better Volkanovski was getting, which is just kind of a crazy statement to say, because usually the Islams, the Khabibs, they go out there and just break dudes, right? And the long each by each minute, you just see the, the, the opponent progressively breaking even more. So for Volkanovski, I don't want to say he broke Islam, but those later rounds, Volkanovski was really starting to take over, like... If that was a ten-round fight in some pipe dream world, then Volkanovski probably gets this one, gets that one done, because he just kept getting better and better, and that was just mind-blowing to me to be able to do that against a guy like Islam. So, in this one, I love Yair, I love the unpredictability, but I do think that Volkanovski is just going to be a little bit too well-rounded for him, and I see him being able to just kind of outstrength and outman Rodriguez, and if he eats some gnarly shots on the feet. Whether it's like a devastating calf kick or something spinning, uh, like a gnarly spinning elbow or something. I like Volkanovski's fight IQ to get this one to the mat and just find other ways to really, like you said, prove that he's the best mixed martial artist, perhaps in the company, maybe even one of the GOATs. So I'm taking the fighter from Wing Dang, Willingong. I was in Volkanovski. I like him to get this one uh, done by decision. Any last thoughts, me, boy? No, this is an absolute banger fight. This card is so stacked, guys. Make sure to smash me, subscribe, throw the comments who you take in and why. And don't forget to watch other videos.